Why is your door closed? I thought we agreed we weren't going to close our doors anymore because we don't have anything to hide from each other, right? What are you doing? No, I mean your phone. What are you doing? Are you talking to someone? Don't give me that. Yes, you are. Give me it. No, no, don't try to hide it. Give me. Got it. Now let's see who was making you smile like that. Oh. You were talking to her. So, let me get this straight. You were talking to another girl on your phone, and then when I caught you, you lied to me about it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know she's just your friend. That's what you always say. And that's really all she is? Why did you lie to me about talking to her? Oh, you just didn't want to make me mad. Well, how's that going for you? What do you mean I always do this? Do what? I don't get mad when you're talking to your friends. What makes me a little upset is when you spend time lying in bed texting pretty girls. When your prettier girlfriend is sitting right outside and has been waiting all day to cuddle and watch a movie with you. Can you really not see why I'd be upset by that? Uh, no, I'm not saying you're not allowed to talk to other people, though. Let's say, for the sake of argument, I was saying that. Would that really be so bad? I mean, why do you want to even spend so much time with your friends, or whatever, instead of me? Anyway, what can they give you that I can't? What can she give you? No, that's just not true. That's simply not true. Everyone does not need friends. I mean, do you see me hanging out with other people? I literally don't have a single friend besides you. Because I don't need any, and I don't want any. You're always going to be all I need. Why am I not enough for you? What's so special about these random people? What are they really doing to make you happy that I can't do better? What is that girl doing to make you happy? Wait, are you? Oh my god, are you sleeping with her? You are, aren't you? Oh my god. No, 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 don't you dare look at me like that. I hate, I hate it when you give me that look. I'm crazy, I'm not crazy. I've seen those little glances you two share. I've seen those laughs and smirks. It doesn't take a genius to put two and two together. You are sleeping with her. I should have realized it sooner. The signs were right in front of me. Oh, that bitch. When I see her. Please don't lie to me, darling. It just makes it hurt even more. And I'll use whatever language I like to describe the conniving homewrecker trying to steal my boyfriend. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's what you always say, isn't it? Every girl you talk to is just a friend. That'd be an amazing coincidence. <laughs> if she really is just a friend, then you won't mind if I delete her number, right? No, wait, that won't work. You'll just get it back from one of your other little friends, or she'll give it back when you meet in person. Speaking of that, by the way, I don't want you going out to hang out with them anymore. Not just her, any of them. I've been meaning to talk to you about that. You always stay too late. I literally spend hours staying up waiting for you to come home because I miss you oh so much. Yeah, yeah, I know they're okay with me tagging along, but we've already talked about why I don't like that. They always talk to you when I'm trying to talk to you. They're always trying to make conversation with me when I'm trying to talk to you. They just always get in the way of us. It's so irritating, and it always kills my mood. Frankly, 
I think they're a bad influence on you. I'm just trying to look out for my boyfriend's well-being, okay? I just want what's best for you. And sometimes that takes a little tough love. Honestly, I think I know what needs to happen here. If you want to talk to her so badly, fine. Let's talk to her. You won't mind if I add a little bit to your conversation, will you? <laughs> what am I doing? Oh, just bonding with your little secret girlfriend. That's what you want, right? You want us all to be friends. So let me talk to her. I'm sending her a little text from your phone right now. Oh, wait. She'll probably think it's from you since it's from your phone, right? <laughs> Whoops. I guess it probably doesn't help that my message lists all the reasons you think she's a bitch. And you don't ever want to see her again. And also says that you're happy her dog died last month. And also <laughs> that she's a total boring starfish in bed. And send. Oh my god, I wish you could see your face. You look like you're going to faint. It's actually really cute. <laughs> and I sent it in your group chat, by the way. So all your pals could see it too. Right before I left the group and blocked them all. I think I'm going to hold on to your phone for a while. So you're not tempted to try and reach out to them again. Hopefully they get the message. What did I do that for? I did it for the only thing that really matters. Us. I did it because I'm tired of other people coming between us. And no, I'm not giving your phone back until you prove you can be trusted with it. And you are not talking to any of those people again. Ever. I hate to put my foot down, but this isn't the first time this has happened, and I'm tired of it. Look, I can see you're pretty shocked, all right? But try to calm down. I'm sorry I had to take such extreme measures, but I promise you'll see how right this was for you really soon. This is going to be the start of a new chapter for us. One where we don't keep secrets from each other or get affectionate with other people that we should be getting from each other. In the meantime... Can we just finally spend some time together? I've been waiting all day. Here, you don't even have to get out of bed. I'll just climb in with you. Oh my, you almost flinched when I put my arm around you. Are you that scared? <laughs> Look, I know how you can get a bit intimidated when I get passionate. It's adorable, really. My little boyfriend getting all shy. But I promise, you have no reason to be scared of me. I just can't help but get passionate about keeping my man safe and sound. That's all. Come on, you know how I am. Here, nestle in. Come on. I don't bite. Well, I don't bite you anyway. <laughs> I promise. In a couple weeks, you won't even remember that little slut or any of those other weirdos. Those people were not good for you. You thought they made you happy, but all they really did was distract you from what really matters. You'll see. You have to see. Hmm. I've been waiting for this moment all day. My beautiful, amazing boyfriend and I, cuddled in bed, ready to share some quality time. No, no, don't try and wiggle away. You're going to be here for a while, mister. <laughs> now, let's see about that movie. Do you want to pick, or should I? I think this is new.